<laughs> Every region of the world has its own unique urban legends, and South and Central America are no exception. This ghost story from Spanish American folklore keeps children up at night fearing for their lives. The story of La Lorna. This terrifying story out of Mexican folklore is oh so popular, and it's made its way into European urban legends and inspired movies based off the scary but sad La La Lorna. If you didn't grow up with an abuela who reminded you nightly to be kind to your family, lest you incur the wrath of La La Lorna, you might not know the story. La La Lorna is the story of a beautiful woman who, after suffering heartbreak, drowns her children in a river. If you're tired of the regular old ghost stories, this is the perfect time to go down the rabbit hole of La La Lorna, one of the scariest urban legends to come out of South America. So close those blinds, dim those lights, cuddle under your favorite blanket, and let's begin. Sometimes she kidnaps children. Depending on which folk tale you follow, La La Lorna isn't just some weeping ghost who hangs out by the river, but rather she's a child kidnapping monster. In Mexico, parents use this version of the tale to keep their children from running around at night and getting into unwanted trouble. If a child is caught by the ghost, she'll ask them for forgiveness and then drown them in the closest body of water. In some stories, La La Lorna murders her children in a jealous rage. As the Arizona version of La La Lorna goes, the ghost was originally a woman named Lona, who lived in Kingsman Canyon with her husband and two children. Unfortunately, she felt her husband was paying too much attention to their daughters and grew increasingly jealous until she pushed them over the edge of the canyon. After the children's death, Lana's husband left her, and she threw herself off the edge of the canyon to join her children. Ever since then, she was damned to wander the canyon. Some say her husband killed her children. Why did Lala Lorna kill her children? In one version of the story, a poor woman and her terrible, also poor husband started having children and they couldn't afford to feed them, so the husband started drowning the children one by one. After giving birth to her fifth child, Lalona's husband threw the baby in the river and she went in after the baby and drowned herself. From there on out, the woman returned to the riverbed night after night. Her heart was broken after her husband cheated on her. Another alternate version of La La Lorna's story is that while she was alive, she and her husband had a couple of children, and everything was good. That is, until she bore two sons and her husband started running around on her. When she discovered he was carrying on behind her back, she freaked out and threw her children into a river. It wasn't until after they were dead that she realized what she had done. She refused to leave the bank of the river or even eat. She grew thinner and gaunt until she looked like a walking skeleton. She finally died on the bank of the river. La Lorna has been allegedly caught on film. Many have claimed to have photographed and even videotaped La La Lorna, but in a security video from Mexico City, a strange ghostly figure in white is seen standing in the middle of an intersection. The footage was captured at 2.20 a.m. on September 18, 2016, 
And in the video, the woman, all in white, is seen standing still in the intersection while cars drive directly towards her. Many believe the ghost was that of La La Lorna. La La Lorna can just walk into your house. According to Teresa Finney, a writer for The Hairpin, her mother had a face-to-face -face encounter with the most famous ghost in Hispanic culture when she was a girl. It was late at night and she was on the phone with her boyfriend. When she suddenly felt a chill, she said, quote, All I know is that I tried to turn around to see where the cold was coming from, but I couldn't move. I was frozen. I was lying in bed on the phone, and I was paralyzed. I, I couldn't move. That's when I saw her. She was in the doorway of my room, just staring at me, dressed all in white. I tried to scream, but I was just paralyzed. When she was asked how she knew it was La La Lorna, she said, quote, I just knew. La La Lorna was barred from heaven. One version of the story says that after La La Lorna's children drowned, she herself drowned in the same river where she died to join them in the afterlife. Once she makes it to the gates of heaven, she is barred from entering until she finds the children, which then began her journey across eternity, searching in vain for her drowned children. La La Lorna is part of a popular children's game. La La Lorna might be super scary to most of the outside world, but a lot of children in South America play a dark version of hide and seek, where the seeker plays La La Lorna and calls after the hiders screaming in Spanish, Where are my children? Imagine how scary it is to hear a group of children playing that game. Now, imagine how scary it is if La La Lorna was to play with them. She lives near the river. The most well-known version of La La Lorna is that she's the ghost of a woman who lost her children after they drowned in the river. Now, years after their deaths, La La Lorna still cries as she searches for them in the rivers or various bodies of water. Like most river ghosts who have lost their children, She's not the kind thing you want to come across. At the very least, she causes great misfortune to anyone who runs into her on a moonlit night. She haunts part of the United States as well. La La Lorna doesn't just haunt Mexico. Her legend haunts any area that has a large Hispanic community including places like Santa Fe. According to the legend, in this part of the country, people who don't treat their family well will be paid a visit by the wandering ghost. And that's not something you want. In this scenario, she's more harbinger of doom. According to Epifano Garcia, one night after he got into an argument with his parents, he and his brothers ran away from home for the night and were visited by a tall woman wearing a black tapello and a black net over her face. She was silent until the boys turned the horses around to head back home, at which time she said, I will visit you again someday when you argue with your mother. Another story involved a man by the same name, who was an outspoken boy who often argued with his mother and his father. After a heated argument, Garcia, along with his brothers, Carlos and Augustine, decided to leave the ranch and to head toward the Villa Real de Santa Fe. However, when they were along their way, they were visited by a tall woman wearing a black tapello and a black net over her face. Two of the boys were riding in the front of the wagon, 
when the spirit just appeared on the seat between them. She was silent and continued to sit there until Garcia finally turned the horses around and headed back home, at which time she said, I will visit you again someday when you argue with your mother. She's responsible for so many spooky songs. La La Lorna might be a super spooky ghost that preys on children who are mean to their parents. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't have her fans. The story of La La Lorna's haunting has a song to go along with it, and there are a lot of versions of it. As fun as these songs are, it's hard to imagine that a ghost who murders children would listen to something so danceable. La La Lorna echoes Greek mythology. The story of La La Lorna is an alternate version of Greek myth. Her story is similar to the tale of Zeus's affair with Lamea, the queen of Libya. After Hera, Zeus's wife, finds out about her husband's affair, she turns Lamia into a demonic demigod who is forced to eat her own children. After chomping down on her children, she is forced to walk the earth and eat every child that she comes across. La La Lorna's origin may be from the ancient Aztecs. One of La La Lorna's oldest origins may go back to Aztec times. In this story, the weeping ghost is a sort of banshee. You know, the wailing ghost from Irish folklore, who acts as a patron saint of women who die in childbirth. According to legend, the Aztec goddess of fertility and motherhood, and I hope I don't butcher the name too bad, is Chayacotl abandoned her son Mixacotl at a crossroads, and that's where you'll find her weeping. <laughs> if you do run across her, you're likely in for some bad luck, which is what the Aztec people found out when they saw her directly before Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés arrived and overtook the Aztec people. All right, my lovely lilies, what do you think? Do you think La La Lorna is real? Which version do you believe? I don't know about you, but I believe that it is totally plausible that she's real. I'm not sure which version I believe, to be honest. But one thing I do know, it is a very sad and tragic story. Well, like most good things, this video is coming to an end. I want to encourage everyone to check and make sure you are subscribed to your favorite narrators. Also, you can catch me on Instagram, Twitter, and of course, you can always email me. Speaking of emailing, feel free to email me any scary stories you have. I'm always up for a good story. Oh, and until next time, Sweet dreams. <laughs>